Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I have a new video in which I'm going to show you some of my new favorite pieces of jewelry that I've recently discovered. And I think these are really the pinnacle of luxury and the definition kind of of um, unique and labor intensive and luxurious and fa like fantastic and just almost priceless because each piece I'm going to show you is, to, in my opinion, really a work of art. These all come from the Artisan of Bali collection, which is available on JTV and JTV.com. JTV has several artists, what they call artisan collections, um, which are what they say. They're um, handmade items or mostly handmade items, which they com come from small artisans, um, little co-ops or something like that, um, usually from cultures and locations that have a traditional artisanal culture. Um, these are from Bali, Indonesia. And since watching JTV and learning all about the jewelry, I've really come to know more of the history of silver work in particular, um, but metal work in Bali and in Indonesia, and really come to appreciate it. Um, from what I can understand or from what I've learned, the silversmiths used to work primarily in gold um, because their work was so highly prized and so labor intensive and valuable. Uh, but when gold became just ridiculously priced, and I'm not exactly sure because it's been a while now, but at some point they switched from gold as their main material to silver. And I will say now that I own several pieces, I mean, their silver work is immaculate. All of these pieces I'm showing you um, have just hours and hours of labor, of skilled labor to create all those swirls, to place all those beads, uh, to shape the silver, to finish the silver so that it's the um, oxidized finish. Um, one thing I've learned is I think these hooks are not, the shepherd's hooks are not from Bali, but they're like specially created and then they're flown to Bali. Um, everything is just finished beautifully. This is a, the newest pair of earrings that I have. It's a dangle earring that is, in, you can see even the hook part is ornate. So everything it has detail all those beads and ropes are hand placed so they have um long almost like needles or sticks really thin sticks of silver and they melt them as they're creating these items and create these beautiful works of art and so a little bit about the designer so the collection is called artisan a collection of bali but the designer is Janelle Sherman, and I don't know if you can see, but her company name is Sarda. So everything is marked Sarda, S-A-R-D-A, 925 for sterling silver. And she's apparently sold in, she used to sell, excuse me, in more high-end department stores, and now she's just got enough of a following online on JTV. This is um, another pair of earrings I have. These are more comfortable. You can see that... Not only are they pierced in the middle, so they're not the full earring of silver, but they're just smaller in size, but I love both of them. I, at first I thought when I got this newer one, it would kind of replace the older one, but I, I think there's room in my collection for both. Really pretty, have a really pretty quiet dangle. So these two pairs of earrings I've gotten recently from JTV. These two rings I've gotten recently from JTV. This one is just a classic. It's a band style ring. Let me put it on. So it almost looks like you're stacking three different bands, but that in that middle one is really so intricate. I don't I hope you can see that. Just all the work that goes into this by the craftspeople. And then this one's really special too. This is actually this almost matches into exactly, except it's prettier, but it almost matches exactly a red garnet that I have, but this is actually Madeira Citrine. And um, one thing that I'm starting to learn as I kind of learn more about the collection is that these patterns all have names. So this is composed of, um, I think a rope chain around the bezel. Uh, this is called chain link. This design right here and then these that look like to me like cobblestones is called the watermark 
And every piece, like I said, is stamped. Look at that beautiful underneath the under gallery. Everything is stamped Sarda, Sarda 925. So those are the most recent pieces I picked up from JTV. I've also kind of gone on a hunt to find some vintage pieces um, and some pre-owned pieces. I'll start with this one, actually. This one I got pre-owned. This is um, a lot of the most popular pieces are pendants. I will say um, I think I'm slowly warming up to the idea of a pendant. They have really big jeweled kind of statement pendants. Um, I don't know if I'm necessarily there yet. I really like kind of the more traditional earrings or these rings that you can really mix and match with other pieces. But I found this 30 inch chain necklace with the pendant for a really great deal. So um, here you can see this kind of feather detail and all of those, like I said, all those little dots, all those lines are hand done. It's just beautiful, even the bail is beautiful. And this rope chain is actually all done by hand. So there is a snake chain portion, which is the majority. And um, with that, it has little stations. Each one has a little station, just to give it more decoration, I think. It's just beautiful. And then in the center part, so this is the part that would hang down like by your chest is this Byzantine and it's all so flexible, so high polished, so beautiful. They're really easy to take care of because they're just ster sterling silver. So you just keep them in a non-tarnished jewelry box or uh, polish them with a polishing cloth. And this is 30 inches, but I believe it's actually 26 with a four inch extender and even check out this lobster claw clasp. It's the coolest thing ever. Look at that. That's a piece of art in itself. So this is kind of the only statement necklace I have right now. And I like it because it is just all silver. So as I kind of ease into the line, that's a good way for me to start. Now with this th long chain, I can also add these two, oops, these two pendants that I've gotten pre-owned. And both of these I think came from Poshmark or eBay. So this is a three stone one and this is heavy and substantial. And I think this was pre-JTV because this is a slightly different um, name stamp. The Sarda, yeah, Sarda is capitalized here and here it's not. So I think this is pre-JTV, but it's so substantial. This is a lot of silver. It's still the same amount of detailing. I think she still works with the same artisans. And a lot of the stones that she uses are, a lot of them are natural. Um, like she has pearls and... Tanzanite, um, Kunzite, things like that. But she also uses a lot of topaz and quartz, which then can be enhanced. So I, these are probably topaz or quartz. Um, I don't think that th that's the natural color, but it's still really pretty. And again, I'm kind of easing my way into it, so I'm not going straight for the big statement pieces, but more for uh, neutrals or somewhat neutral that I can wear. So I can definitely see myself wearing this on a long that long chain. And then this is a fun set that I picked up. So it's a it's a more navy blue, Oops. navy or cobalt blue. So this is a two pair of earrings. Now I will say these aren't my favorite style of earrings. Is it just me or does every woman have like the one good ear piercing and the one bad one? Like my right ear pi was pierced wonky and it's always you know bothering me it's a little bit lower than it should be so I don't love these kinds of earrings but I do love that I have this set so it comes with the earrings and the matching pendant and again as you can see these are pretty classic um, not very loud or too you know commanding um, maybe one day I'll be more into that but for now I'm good with these guys so Again, the veil is ornate. This one was a little bit tarnished when I got it, but sterling silver is great and then you just polish it up. So those are my pieces I just wanted to show you. Um, I'm thrilled with them. I also love learning all about Bali when um, the designer, whose name is Janelle Sherman, I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but when she comes in, uh, when she's on the rotation for shows on JTV, it's just fun to watch and learn, so. I'm sure this collection will grow and I'll leave you links to some of my favorite pieces on jtv.com but in case you don't know about this because I didn't until very recently I just wanted to show you guys so hope you're doing well 
Um, let me know what you think down in the comments. Take care.